mass vaccination sites like this one here at the Moscone Center may be the best way for San Francisco to get the most shots into arms. But providers serving communities of color say they're the last place some of their most at-risk patients want to be. We brought these concerns to health officials who admit they need to improve. Francisco Sanchez walks Two or three blocks. to his appointments at Mission Neighborhood Health Center. He's lived in San Francisco's Mission District for more than four decades. This is my neighborhood. And has been actively involved at the clinic just as long. His community has been one of the hardest hit by the pandemic in a city where 80% of the COVID deaths involve people over 65. Sanchez is 90. I need the, the, the vaccine now for me, ma. Porque mi vida está en juego, mi vida. My life, my heart. Sanchez hasn't even had his first shot. His clinic hasn't received any of San Francisco's 80,000 doses for patients as of late last week. Brenda Story is the clinic's executive director. It does hurt, and I keep saying to myself, calm down, Brenda. We want to, at minimum, be able to immunize our elder, vulnerable patients. Data from San Francisco health officials shows the city's Department of Public Health retained most of that supply to vaccinate health care workers, they say. Community clinics got about 7 percent, which several tell us was just enough to inoculate their employees. We had to take action. Then last week, in an effort to get as many people vaccinated as possible, Mayor London Breed celebrated the launch of a public mass vaccination site at the Moscone Center and pop-up clinics, including one in the mission. Let me tell you how happy I am to be here. Why couldn't we just have a portion of those vaccines? Are you able to get to Civic Center, to San Francisco General, to Moscone Center? No. Why? Because I know people like to make long lines. I don't have transportation, so for me, forget it. It's very frustrating. Story's Clinic isn't alone. An organization representing 11 San Francisco health centers says some of their members are also frustrated. They don't feel community health centers are involved enough in the city's process. And last week, some got no vaccines for patients, while others did. So if someone's getting 700 and we're getting zero, that's not equitable, right? This is an unprecedented vaccination effort. Dr. Andrea Tenner is the operations section chief for San Francisco's COVID command center. If San Francisco wants to make sure that their non-English speaking minority communities don't fall through the cracks, why doesn't San Francisco lean more on these community clinics that have spent years building this hard-earned trust and have active patient rosters? Yeah, you know, that is a part of our strategy. So working with those clinics is a key part of our strategy. But that they don't feel that way. Well, and I think, you know, as I said, I think if, if that's, um, that's something where we can improve. Dr. Tenner says San Francisco is battling a vaccine supply problem. Plus, they have to ensure clinics are prepared. Last week, we told you about 100,000 doses sitting unused in Santa Clara County, showing some smaller clinics struggle to administer vaccines as quickly as larger entities, all while the state has already been criticized for falling behind on vaccinations. But the value in community clinics isn't quantity, their organizers say. It's equity. And certainly, I think as we are working through this, again, this unprecedented event, there are definitely ways that we can improve our communication. Meanwhile, Sanchez will wait for his clinic to receive the vaccine. It's a place he knows and trusts. He's alone in the Bay Area, he says. His brother, his only family member locally, died two years ago. Yes, I am the last one. My life is on the line. Doesn't matter, I, I, I am 90 years old, I want to live more. Candace Wen, NBC Bay Area News. Now, after Candace started asking questions, Mission Neighborhood Health Center says the city reached out and delivered 500 vaccine doses. If you have a story for our investigative unit or for Candace, call 888-996-TIPS or visit our website, nbcbayarea.com slash investigations.